no more gold wings honda is not shipping any more gold wings Hey everybody, today I'm at uh, Dream Machines of Texas and I am uh, picking up this 2016 Goldwing take back to my place and gonna do a little work on it got a video I've got to do this is a pretty nice looking bike you can check it out here it's uh, looks like 15,950 that's not a bad price actually for a 2016 looks like it's in pretty nice shape so I will be motor vlogging from the road while I ride this back to my place. And uh, if you want a Goldwing, now might be a good time to buy one because that's right, no more Goldwings. Honda is not shipping any more Goldwings. You heard it here first. Okay, first time I've ridden one of these bikes in a long time. So let's see if I still remember how to ride a five-speed bike without killing it. Oh yeah, it's definitely a bigger, heavier bike than the 2018. Yeah, it's been a while. Oh, there's the horn. I knew there was a horn on these bikes. Well, I tell you what, it's quite a bit different riding a previous generation Goldwing compared to the 2018. I've been riding the 2018 now for a couple of years. And uh, it's a good chance to kind of compare the two. This one shifts very smooth. It's got... Uh, low tire pressure warning is coming on on the TPMS light, so I'll check the tires when I get home They weren't obviously low when I got on the bike And I'm just gonna take the back way. I'm not gonna be getting on the freeway. I Forgot what it was like to be behind this big-ass windshield Man, you don't feel anything When you're behind this thing this bike has uh, not quite 14,000 miles, about 13,800 miles on it. And uh, very, very smooth, uh, very refined as, uh, you know, as they always were. I do like the placement. I miss the placement of the horn button. TPMS light is a little bit annoying, but eh, we'll suffer through. So as I'm riding this 2016 Goldwing back to my place uh, to do a video, I'm actually going to be doing a video for uh, the Pathfinder LED. It's a uh, LED light upgrade for the rear end of the bike. All the uh, brake lights, tail lights, and turn signals will be converted to LED, which means I have to replace the flasher which is uh, in the front of the bike to an LED flasher otherwise I would have just done the light bulb swap right there at Dream Machines in their showroom I was amazed when I walked through their showroom how empty the place is they literally have about half the inventory they would normally have this time of year and that's because motorcycle sales apparently are at record levels and that's why I said in my intro of this video I got an email I actually got an email from one of my uh, followers and he had mentioned that he was trying to find a 2018 to 2020 Goldwing in white and he couldn't find one anywhere. They were all sold out. And so I sent an email to my uh, sales manager up at Shawnee Honda in Oklahoma. And he confirmed that 
white gold wings are virtually impossible to find and that he has been informed by Honda that the dealers will not be getting any more gold wings until 2021. So no more Honda gold wings will be shipped to dealers until next year. So the moral of that story is if you are in the market for a Honda Goldwing, especially a 2018 or 2020 or 2019, you'd better get down to your local Honda dealer and buy it while you can because pretty soon you probably won't be able to find one. Motorcycle sales are at record levels as are RVs and campers and things like that, trailers. I guess uh, people have money to spend and they're not working so they're spending it on leisure items and they can't go on a cruise or they can't take a vacation uh, overseas so I guess they're going to keep the money and spend it on uh, recreational vehicles. Apparently that's what's happening. So, no more gold wings till next year. And I assume that means uh, they're not going to manufacture any more 2020 models. They're probably manufacturing 2021s right now and just waiting to release them. But I don't know that for sure. But that's my guess. And I am going to do a motor vlog or a video. I'm not sure if it'll be a motor vlog or just a vlog. And I'm going to talk to you about the 2021 Goldwing. But that'll be coming up next week. I think I should also comment how smooth this motorcycle is. It is so much, um, I hate to say it, it is actually much smoother than the 2018. You get no vibration through the hand grips on this bike. Uh, the, I, I'm not as crazy about the suspension. The suspension is a little bit more uh, unrefined. But overall, this bike rides much smoother uh, than the 2018. And I'm talking about from an engine vibration standpoint. The engine is just buttery smooth. And it's one of the first things I noticed uh, when I got my 2018 is how you get a little bit of resonance through the hand grips that you don't get. And even on the foot pegs, you don't get that with the uh, previous generation Goldwing. This is a really nice bike. Now see, bumps like that are much harsher on this bike than they would have been on the 2018. But the geometry of this motorcycle being a little bit larger than the 2018 seems to soak up bumps better uh, in, in round town driving. Uh, you don't get that pogo effect, that bouncing up and down effect like you do going over dips and bumps. You sometimes get that with the 2018 Goldwing. So I think it's a geometry thing. I think this bike was just so refined in its uh, design. If it had just had better suspension, uh, this would have been the perfect motorcycle. So for those of you out there that follow me uh, on YouTube, if you have a previous, I call it the previous generation Goldwing, the 2001 to 2017, if you have test ridden a 2018, have you noticed this difference in handling or in uh, suspension and vibration that I'm referring to? I'd be anxious to know if you've noticed that as well. This apparently is a base level 2016 because it does not have navigation. It just has the small uh, screen in the front. So maybe that's part of the reason it's only 15,950. Um, that still seems like a a reasonable price. I don't know if they negotiate on that price or not, but this is a really it's getting ready to have all LEDs in the back. So if you're in the market for a 2016 Goldwing, head down to Dream Machines of Texas here in the Dallas Fort Worth area and check it out because it's uh, it looks to be a very pretty bike. It looks to be in very nice shape, like it's been well cared for. 
It has the Baker hand wings uh, underneath the mirrors. It also has a Utopia backrest, which is nice. I'm going to open up this vent. Forgot about having a vent. I haven't had that in a while. And it's got a few other little uh, additions here and there, but nothing uh, that really is outrageous or gaudy or anything. It's a very nice looking, almost, I would say, almost a stock bike. So, this would be a good one for you to check out. Uh, forgive me for only having one angle, one GoPro angle today, because I don't have a GoPro mounted uh, where it can be on the handlebars looking back since it's not my bike. I don't have all the uh, mounting surfaces that uh, normally I would have Yeah, we got the bikers out today. You got a BMW and a Harley and me So I'm just about to turn into my neighborhood right behind this BMW He must be one of my neighbors and I didn't know it and uh, just wanted to thank you for joining me today on Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. If I don't talk to you again, I may, I may uh, just do a little bit on the way back down to Dream Machines. It's going to be a really hot day today. I'm going to be working on this in my garage. It'll probably get up to about 100 degrees today and about 70% humidity. So it's not going to be a pleasant working environment. So I want to get, uh, thank you again for joining me on Cruise Man's Garage. Don't forget to check out our two Facebook groups, one for the 5th uh, Generation Goldwing, one for the 6th Generation Goldwing. They're free to join and a great place to ask all your maintenance-related questions or help other people with maintenance-related questions. I've got some specials going on right now on my uh, both of my maintenance video sets, so... You can get more information on the Facebook page about that as well. So, I will see you next time, probably on my 2018 Goldwing, on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlog. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.